Transform your overlanding trips with our top five gear picks. Learn the secrets to the easiest kitchen and chair setups that make your outdoor experience unforgettable. Two fur here. This is having a nice, easy kitchen setup. I've had a ton of different kitchen setups. I've had, you know, tables on top of drawers. I've had um, my tailgate here. First of all, we're gonna talk about this Sylvan Sport here. This is a fold-out kitchen, and before I ended up trying it, I thought it was gonna be super complicated and annoying to open up, but realistically, all you have to do on this one is unzip two parts, pull it apart, lock the legs, and uh, you're basically ready to go right then and there. There's a few extra steps, but in reality, this is the easiest kitchen setup, easiest table I've ever had, and it also has a lot of storage built into the table portion of this setup. All right, with chairs, chairs, the chair I'm sitting in right now, this is my favorite chair right now. So this is a front runner chair. It's, I don't know exactly the price, 50 to 70 or something in there. It's kind of, honestly, middle of the range for chair prices. There's a lot of chairs that are like $200, which is crazy to me. And even a $70 chair is pretty expensive, uh, but these are robust and burly and they're gonna, they're gonna take care of you for a long time. They're not the lightest chair in the world, but they are the quickest to set up in my opinion, and they do fold down nice and compact. But the reason I like them so much is just that they're nice to sit in. I like having armrests, they're comfortable, they're at a nice height so you're not like sitting on the ground. Uh, but I'll show a another option here in a second that I also like. But the front runner, I like it a lot because it's so easy to set up. Let's see if we can see here. So you set it on the ground, it's a little bit out of frame but you'll get the picture. You fold this up, you bring it up, and then it's set up. Just like that, take down is just as easy and then it's ready to go. So this sticks with my kind of fundamental element of fast and simple to set up and use, but also robust. These chairs are gonna last you for a long time. Okay, next up we're gonna pull a couple of items actually out of this little bag. And I use this bag all the time on my camping trips to both organize and to keep dry. It's a, it's a dry bag to keep dry uh, some essential items that I take on my trips. And so the first thing we're gonna pull out of here is something that's really important, and it is a first aid kit. And this might not look like much. This actually probably looks like kind of a funky first aid kit, but it's one I actually kind of put together myself with uh, components and, and things that came from another kit. And so of course, if you wanna buy a pre-made first aid kit, that's often gonna work really well, and you can buy them from pretty much any major like big box store. And so you need a first aid kit of some kind. And then the other thing that I wanna pull out of here is a classic, and that's gonna be a pocket knife. And I like the multi-tool sort of classic Swiss Army knife because you get your basic knife, which, you know, of course, all pocket knives have the knife part to it, but you also get some little tools on there that can come in handy. Having a couple of extra tools on a multi-tool, sometimes like a screwdriver is included, which might also come in handy. But at any rate, some sort of pocket knife or multi-tool is really important to take, and I take one on basically every trip. Toolbox. Now, if it was up to me, I'd bring every single tool that I could possibly bring, because I just love tools. But I had to compress it down to this much and uh, as you can see it's not much but I believe that it will get me out of strife if I uh, ever need to change some bearings or do anything on the car it allows me to service the car on the road um, and all that kind of stuff so just uh, do some research and just work out what what you think you would need on the trip in regards to tool. The thing I want to show you is this little box from a company called Fantic now they're sponsoring this segment but the reason I said yes is because this is a really cool little device. This is an air compressor, a battery powered air compressor. Oh, that's right, folks. And not just that, it actually works. Like it works well. It works as well as other off-road tire air compressors. That's what's so impressive about it. So this little thing, you turn it on, you set it on whatever PSI, um, cause it has a sensor in it. You take out your air hose here, Put it on, you could get a quick connect if you want, but this one just screws on. And you press go, brrr, and it just airs it up at 150 PSI. It's as fast as the Smitty Built air compressor. It's as fast as my ARB single piston air compressor. And it's small, like it's easy to pack this thing away when you're done. You just 
you know, wind up your cord here or your, your air tube, um, and you throw it in the back of the car.